hi everyone thank you for watching again so today i'm gonna show you guys how i achieved this cute half up half down hairstyle with bantu knots and braids i really neglected youtube in 2017 and i was mainly focused on my instagram platform but i made a promise to myself that i would um, find a better balance between youtube and instagram and that's why I'm uploading all of the content I made last year for Instagram and I'm posting a more elaborate version on YouTube for you guys. Um, so this is one of those videos we made in September of 2017. We just got back from our vacation and Shanelia was really tanned as you can tell. And um, so you're going to see a lot more of these kind of videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm starting off on freshly washed and stretched hair. If you want to get a visual on how I stretch Chanelia's hair, please click on the link above. So first thing I do is section the hair in three parts and then I'm going to make a triangle section for my first bantu knot. I always use a curl control paste to clean up my section. I'll make sure to mention all the products I use in the description box below. To create some more detail, I opted for two flat twists alongside the first band to knot, but you can obviously also opt to not do that. I think the hairstyle is just as beautiful with or without them. After I'm finished with the front part of the hair, I'm gonna do some chunky twist in the back and I'm using a curl cream of Taylor Beauty to moisturize and define our twist. I really really love this product when it comes to twisting Shanelia's hair because it leaves her hair soft and shiny and most of all moisturized. So after I'm finished with the twist, it's time for the fun part. I'm using a hair beater, which is a tool I use to install hair beads.
So this was pretty much the hairstyle. If she's going to school, I would suggest to leave the twists in, but you can also opt to take them out for a special occasion. That was it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll make sure to answer them ASAP.